Hi, this is Linda from On Blogging Well, and today we're going to learn how to move a blogger blog into WordPress without losing any of your links and without losing any of your friends on Google Connect and without losing any of your images or comments and all your posts. So that's that's our goal in this video. And the first thing that you need to do is right here I've set up a a blogger test blog and I've set up a WordPress test blog. This is the blogger blog. <clears throat> I've it, I just set this up and there's just three little posts here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've made a comment on each post and I've made some tags. I'm following this so we have one follower. So when we go to um, to move this, all that content should come into the WordPress blog. And now this is the WordPress blog that I've set up. This is just the basic theme that comes when you upload WordPress 3.0. And I have three little posts. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the WordPress admin of the blog that we're going to move our, our blogger blog into. And we're going to go there. <coughs> I am again recording on my slow computer. I apologize, but it's my desktop so it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. So now we're at the dashboard of the WordPress blog where we're going to move into the, the content from Blogger. The first step that we're going to need to do is um, we're going to change the over here in the general settings. We're going to go ahead and change the name of this blog to match that of the WordPress of the blogger blog. Now if you've already got a WordPress blog and you've established it and it has a different name than your blogger blog, then that's okay. But this is a new WordPress site, so if you're just starting off with WordPress, you probably want to name your site the same as your old blogger blog. So I'm going to click Save Changes. <clears throat> Also, while you're here in the general settings, you may want to go ahead and set your the time for where you live. Mine is minus five, and I usually just set my my calendar to start on Monday if we do use a calendar, and that's just things that I always do when I set up a new blog. <clears throat> that's just up to you. But since we were there, I thought I'd go ahead and do that. Now here's something that you may not be familiar with. If you go down to settings in your dashboard and click at the very bottom is the word permalinks. And what we need to do is we need to set the permalink structure to match that of blogger. So let's go over here and look at our blogger blog. And let's just click on this post and see what blogger has. Okay, as you can see, blogger has the name of the, the blog, .blogspot.com, and then they have the year, the number of the month, and then the post name and then they end it with .html so in order for the our, our link structure to work correctly in WordPress we're going to have to make our structure match that of the blogger blog so we're going to start off and what you do is you put a backslash and a percent sign and we're going to put year and then put another percent sign backslash percent sign month num n u m because that's the number of the month and another percent another backslash then another percent post name and another percent dot html so now we're going to save the changes <clears throat> now if we look at our test blog here notice that it now says Linda Fulkerson's test blog the same as it did now we're going to click right here and now you'll see that it says FulkersonTestBlog.com 2010-08 this is the last post dot html so now the structure the permalink structure matches that of the blogger blog the next step that we need to do and we're going to go back to the dashboard is we need to um, so you always have to click save changes here I, I probably said that what we need to do now is we're going to go over to tools and there's a drop down list right here if you click on it 
and we're going to go to import because what we want to do is import the data from our blog post, a blog spot into here. And right here it gives you several different platforms to choose from and we're going to go click on Blogger. Now what WordPress is going to do, it's going to ask us if we, excuse me just a minute, we're going to have to install this Blogger and that's going to run the importer. And we're going to have to authorize our blog spot to let us know that we, we do approve of this. <clears throat> so, excuse me. And it, right here it says that we can revoke the access at any time and then the Fulkerson test blog will not have access to your password or any other information. So basically we're allowing Blogspot to give WordPress our information. So I'm going to say yes, grant access. <coughs> Now I have several blogger blogs, but what I wanted the one that I want to move here is this one right here, Linda Fulkerson Test Blog. And that's the one that I want to move over into WordPress. So I'm just going to click the magic button. It says import. And sometimes you may have to do this more than once because if you have a tremendous amount of content, then you'll have to take do it more than once. Then it says set authors. Um, I think I'm the only author, so we'll just leave it like that and I will click Save Changes. Now right here you see it's got a list of all the, the posts. Let's go ahead and look at our site. <clears throat> now what I want you to notice right here, these are the blog post blogs that I had from the blogger site. <clears throat> So I want you to notice right here, it's added a bunch of categories. Now I don't really want all these tags that I had in Blogger to become categories. It, it's, it has them right here as categories instead of tags. So what I want to do now is I'm going to change those tags into categories. Oh, excuse me, change those categories to tags. But I'm going to do that in another video. And then I also want to show you how to do a few more things. You're not quite done yet but I'm going to stop this video so it won't be too long and then we'll do another video. So I'll see you in the next video.